morning grade one students today is wednesday the 17th of june in the year 2020 and i would just like to welcome you back to another language arts lesson so for today's background picture i have a special flower we looked at this flower for science it was in a different color though which tells us that this flower can come in a range of colors different colors so what is the name of this flower do you remember if you don't remember I'm going to give you a clue it starts with hi hi right a hibiscus so yes this is a lovely hibiscus flower so I hope that you enjoy today's background picture that you really like it now let's get into the lesson. Today you will need your language tree text, your language tree workbook, pencil, eraser, and sharpener. Phonics review. So we have been looking at the long E sound and we're going to be reviewing it in the form of Y. So here I have a question and three sentences for you to give it a try. I also highlighted this blend right here this word family the ice family we looked at this before so I highlighted it to remind you of it so pause the video right here and give these a try today for phonics we're going to be looking at the long E sound in the form of a split blend we looked at split blends before and we said that this dash right here this dash would be the space for a letter so this blend these two letters together they say e so we would sound them first and then we'll go to the letter that's here to get the word okay so like, listen to it e, e. so they would say e so now our first word so remember we're gonna sound these together so they say e v e v eve the word is eve do you know what is it what is it eve who is it eve do you know anyone named eve All right so eve was the name of the first woman in the bible remember adam and eve and also eve means something else so here i put a date for you the date is the 24th of december and the 24th of december is the day before christmas so we would say it's christmas eve the day before christmas remember christmas is the 25th of december so the day before an important date would be called eve or a special date would be called an eve so for example your birthday so your birthday is tomorrow so today would be your birthday eve so an eve is an important day before a special event a date before a special event okay so eve that's our first word with the split blend next word so we still have eve here so let's see eve even sorry eve even the word is even okay and when you share so when you're when you're sharing things and you're doing things evenly you try to do everything the same also in maths the opposite of even is odd and in maths we have even numbers and we have odd numbers okay so that our second word is even let's move on let's see what this word it seems to be that we're talking about a person for this one so let's give this word a try e so p t e t pete the word is pete have you ever seen this character before yes and his name is pete we certainly do see him on disney shows his name is pete next word and again do you think we're talking about a person or an animal for this one right so you use the clue of the picture to figure that out so let's sound it out now E, 
Steve. Steve. The word is Steve. Do you know anyone named Steve? Okay, in case you don't know anyone and you're familiar with television shows, this guy, you can normally see him on TV, you can even find him on YouTube. His name is Steve Harvey. So, our next word is Steve. And our final word. Can you guess what this word is? So, let's go. E. Z. Is. These. The word is these. So you would say when you have something that's nearby that you're pointing to. So uh, if you have an apple on your table and the apple is right next to you, say, Mommy, I would want this apple. This is an apple. And if there are more than one of them and they're right next to you and you're pointing to them directly, you would say, These are apples. Okay, so that is the word these. And that is the end of our words for today's play blend. So now let's see our passage. So let's look here. What do you think we are going to read about today? All right then. So the name of our passage is actually Steve and Pete. But this background picture, this cricket in the road, has something to do with the passage today. So let's take a look at the passage. So here we have Steve, Steve and Pete. And I'm going to point out some words to you that you may not be familiar with, all right? So remember, when you point out, when you say the words, you have to say it, spell it, and say it again. So this first word is best. Best. The next word is friends. Friends. This word is together. Together. This word is enjoy enjoy and our final word is favorite favorite so pause the video and give the passage steve and pete a try reading storytelling so we have been looking at storytelling based on a series of pictures you were coming up with a story for for me so at this point we did not give the person a name the main character the boy a name so i'd like for you to do, do this activity and make up a name for the boy and you're going to answer the questions on page 80 in your text okay and when all of the when you do the um the activity on page 80 you basically be re telling the story but you're going to now use the name of the boy you could also name the other characters in the story if you like so now the story would have more depth to it so i hope you enjoy this speaking and listening activity so say it aloud for people to hear all right now let's move on to word study for word study we're going to be looking at syllables this word is syllables we're going to be looking at syllables and can you figure out what a syllable is based on this background picture here so this is a all together what would it be right a banana and I notice the banana is cut up into pieces here we have we have certain songs on each part okay let's see what a syllable is now so a syllable is a group of letters that has one vowel sound. A syllable is a group of letters that has one vowel sound. Do you remember what the vowels are? Right, so our vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And these make a sound. So when we're looking at words, syllables would be, can be a word or part of a word but it's all based on vowel sound for example a word that's a syllable we have sun that has one vowel sound in it dog one vowel sound <clears throat> and it could be a part of a word it could be ip na li ot or ap that would be part of a word so don't worry we're going to do some practice together and you're going to master identifying syllables so the first word, do you know what this word is? This word is so, 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 
one clap i'm hearing one beat right so that it has one syllable okay next word we we so you hear that one beat one vowel sound one clap so we're going to clap out the beats together to figure out the syllables next pat pat when you say pat we are hearing one vowel sound so this one beat so it's a one syllable word next word hug hug are you hearing one sound or more than one syllables do you think it has one syllable or more than one right so that's one clap one beat hug next word map map good job we have map it's one sound one beat i'm hearing so it is a one syllable word and now let's see into 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 what are you hearing see there's a split there so in is one syllable and two is a next syllable so the word in two has two beats it has two syllables in into in two got that Let, let's look at another one window window how many are you hearing how many right we have two beats two claps so the, this word window has two syllables next word say it spider spider so it would have a split there so this is the first syllable and this is the second syllable so the word spider has two syllables i can hear two beats when i say the word spider when i break it up i can hear two beats so spider two claps and this word now say it water water when you clap it out what are you hearing water we have two claps two beats and the, the final word say teacher and if you want to let's clap this out teacher so this word has two syllables because i'm hearing two sounds i can clap out two beats teach her well that is the end of our syllable practice for today and so i would like for you to turn to page 83 in your language tree textbook and there are some list there is a list of words there for you to say aloud to see if you can identify the syllables if you didn't get it this time don't worry i will do another aspect of syllables i will try to tackle it in a different way for you to grasp syllables because i know that you're all bright students you are a bright breakfast and you're going to be able to get this so don't be too flustered don't feel too bad if you didn't didn't figure out all of the words we're gonna get there together and that would be the end of our lesson for today so so long farewell to you my friends goodbye for now until we meet again farewell and good wishes grade one students